Hello, my name is Sergey. I'm a cybersecurity consultant and instructor from Russia. And in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to tell you about CPAN certification and some other certificates as well. Uh, but before that, let me say a few words about myself, about my journey and how I got into it. Uh, first of all, in the beginning of my career, uh, I tried different things in IT. Uh, so security was all, has always been a part, but not exclusive. Um, and, but eventually I started to realize that the place of cybersecurity in the world uh, is changing. Um, why? Uh, maybe you remember those cases with Snowden, US elections, WannaCry, Colonial Pipeline, many others. Um, and so, uh, yeah, it's a shame when companies have lost money, but uh, that push cybersecurity forward. So cybersecurity, cybersecurity has grown in demand. Uh, so I just just start to spend more time on that. All right, what courses and programs I took before? To be fair, a lot of them, um, and I have a long list of certificates, but the most important and valuable for that CPAN experience um, so are CH and CH Practical, uh, OSCP and OSAP, OSEP, which is like OSCP Next Level. How I found information about CPAN? Um, my network. I found somewhere LinkedIn, one of my peers just Lost information about this challenge and that's it this hard and so why and I thought why not to try um, and so that was just like a why not um, and here but here I can give an advice build your network because because of the network you may learn new things you may know about new things and that that's pretty valuable what about preparation uh, first of all I knew most of those topics uh, from my experience or from uh, other courses and that was a good part at the same time some topics in in that exam um, I I haven't had any experience at all um, and so what I did I I learned the official course and did labs of course um, and but that wasn't I, I found that I want to know more and I want to understand it in more detail, so I made my own research as well. So, how difficult was the, this, was the exam and what was the hardest part? I would say that the exam is difficult, yeah, of course, and, and, and the most difficult part is that you must know a lot, a huge range, wide range of different topics. Um, network pen testing, of course. Um, Active Directory, yeah, that, that, that's fine, and even my applications are fine, but um, binary analysis, OT, IoT, so that's something like it's something special and that maybe you don't have in your day-to-day -day experience. In my case, um, I was pretty fine with most of the things except OT and IoT, and that's where I spent most of my preparation time. And that was a huge, huge, a huge challenge for me as well. So um, about three things I really like uh, about CPAN program. First of all, hands-on. Uh, my personal opinion that nothing can beat hands-on, and so that's the most important thing. Uh, second, it's huge variety, this wide range of topics. Um, and you know, you may say, and I, even I can say that, that you know, single pen tester usually doesn't do all of that. Um, like pen tester doesn't uh, pen test Active Directory, and the same person uh, doesn't analyze binaries and work with OT. That's like a, it must be a different people. It's like a separate sp specialization. Um, maybe, maybe yes, um, and I can agree with that. At the same time. Um, Sipan like pushed me into that direction, so I, I realized I can't ignore some of those areas anymore, um, and so that was beneficial. And the third one, I really like labs because there are so many hours of those labs. Uh, what was my experience with labs? Um, I did them, and I mentioned before that this course has number of labs, uh, and what is good, they work pretty 
pretty fast. Um, at the same time, what I found difficult with labs, um, so in, in, in modules where I don't have any experience, like I mentioned about OT, uh, it's very hard to follow. I, I quickly realized I got lost um, in those OT module and I had to make my own research uh, to really understand those steps. So that was def not def definitely not from zero to hero module. And there are some other modules that are, uh, that are quite similar. So without experience, it's hard to follow. About tools. Um, hmm. You know, there's no single tool we use every day, all day long. Because um, you know that we have number of phases in our kill chain um, and so uh, on each phase on each step we may use different tool metasploit is something like that we may use in the multiple stages but Metas metasploit also has a number of problems so what my favorite tools are and nmap um, mimi cats bloodhound uh, metasploit is very nice very nice too but unfortunately uh, the detection rate uh, is very high i mean any antivirus may kill the metasploit by of course we may evade that but that, that's additional time and much better is to create uh, my favorite tools is my own tool so if I can create my own tool I I do it I do it so uh, about benefits from that certification what do you think about that um, first of all I'm a certified instructor so I can teach this course now um, so formally that's the primary impact at this moment at the same time, for me, certification it is not just just a, just a new certificate, a new badge. Um, the most important, what I can learn along the way. So the certificate itself is not that important for me. The most important, uh, what new skills I can get and what I can learn from that. Um, and so, yeah, and yeah, I, I learned many new things. I, just, I had to do it, to be fair. How would I compare CPAN with other programs? In general, it's, this topic is uneasy because you know each program may have number of fans and haters. I don't want to argue with them, um, but what I, what I, the primary difference I found is uh, this wide, wide range of topics. Um, most of the time other programs they offer you like a separate courses separate exams for uh, special like for, for 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 some of the topics like exploitation web applications active directory so here you may find all of that in a single course uh, and and the most important in the single exam uh, and you should be familiar with all of them if you want to if you oh most of with most of them um, if you want to get certified Finally, before I finish, uh, what advice would I give to someone uh, who is preparing to take an exam? First of all, do not focus too much on the exam. Um, make sure you have a skill, because uh, exam will, will, will give you just a new certificate, um, a new title, but my, I think it's my, much better to have the real skill and knowledge not, 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 ju not just just yeah of course we like new certificates and we like to post them and show to to, to, have to our friends and colleagues but much better <laughs> is to have that skill first so focus on to uh, on, on new things and on learning not just uh, not, not just how to pass the exam and don't give up you may fail why not? That's possible. And that's not, not the end of the world. Uh, it's just a feedback that you have some gaps in your knowledge. So uh, because of the exam, if you, if you fail, of course, um, even if you pass, uh, you, you can find your gaps and just spend more time to fill, uh, to fill those gaps and try again. All right, so I hope all of that was informative and I'd like to thank you for watching and good luck on your exam.